Baby, come back to me. Firstly, my fridge have its opinion, and the traffic of Johannesburg. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this nice and neutral kind of green toned look today. I don't know what inspired me to do it, but this is what I'm going to be creating for you today. And I'm also going to be reviewing two products that I had purchased this week. You will see what goes down in the video. But anyways, if you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. Reviewing and testing out two new products that I bought today. This one I bought a few days ago. I tried to return this a few times, but fate told me to buy it. So uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to keep it. For foundation and concealer, I'm gonna try out my Revlon Color Stay 2 in 1 Compact Makeup and Concealer Perfecting Loose Powder by Estee Lauder. And that is Light Medium. Hopefully, it's my color. I like to firstly moisturize and keep my face nice and fresh and then prep and prime my face and to do that I'll be using my MAC Prep and Prime. I like to let my primer sit for at least five minutes before I actually put any other products on. Whilst pulling a funny face while I'm putting on my primer I'm just going to take that MAC Prep and Prime and apply that all over my face and then for the eyelids I'm going to be using that Revlon 2-in-1 concealer that comes with the foundation. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade Bear and I'm just going to be setting the crease and brow bone. The shade over here, I'm going to just use that to fill in my eyebrows. Don't judge me. Like I said, do not judge me with what product I'm using on my eyebrows. It's the only thing that I have right now. I am investing in buying more, but this works for now. So I'm just gonna be doing my everyday eyebrow routine and you'll see, I'm doing it right now. Then I'm going to be going in with my concealer and I'm just going to clean up any harsh lines that I left behind. And I'm just going to be taking that foundation from Revlon, the 2-in-1 foundation, and I'm first going to be applying it on my face with a flat foundation brush, and then I'm going to be buffing it in with my Rockabelle Cosmetics flat angled foundation brush. Revlon Color Stay. I'm really impressed. It, it really glides on my skin nicely and I don't need to use as much product as I thought I did. Well, as, as I did use. And it really, really, really looks good. It really actually is sm smooth. It's really smooth and creamy. We'll have to see how long it lasts. Then I'm going to be taking that concealer that comes with the foundation and I'm going to be applying that to the under eyes and I'm going to do it in a triangular shape. Then I'm going to be buffing in the concealer using the same foundation brush I used for the foundation but I'm not going to be rubbing the concealer in, I'm going to be buffing it in because I do not want to take any product off my skin. One problem that I have with this product, okay. I bought it a few days ago, okay. I haven't opened it, I haven't touched it, I actually wanted to return the product because it, I was quoted a different price and when I got home I realized I had spent 600 Rand on a setting powder. I'm taking that as I need to keep the product. 
So if I can't return it, I might as well use it. So the one problem I had besides that point, that problem is that it did not come with a safety seal. It's supposed to, but this one for some reason did not come with a safety seal. So as you can see, the product is all over the show and it did not come with a safety seal. To apply that Estee Lauder setting powder, I'm going to be going in with my Rockabelle Cosmetics highlighting brush the only reason why i'm using the highlighting brush is because it has a point and it's easy to get into those difficult areas by the inner corner it smells good it feels good for the like baby powder maybe a, a bit better than baby powder but it's, it's, got, it's very soft and light, which is what I like. And I'm going to be going in with the shade right here. The shade does not have a name, so if you have any suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll make a plan. And with that shade, I'm just going to be applying it to the outer corners, and I'm also going to be using the same shade to apply to the inner corners. Going in with the shade Mocha, I'm going to be using this as my transitional colour and we're going to be laying that just above that green shade that we applied to the outer corners. Going in with my MAC 214, I'm going to be applying that same green shade that we used on the outer corners and I'm just going to be applying this to the inner corners, leaving the middle section B. Going in with the shade Tinks, which is a light green shimmery color. I'm going to be applying that to the middle section that we had left bare. And we're going to be blending it in with the darker color. Just don't take it too close to the inner corner. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to be blending in the inner corner to the rest of the lid. As well as blending in the crease. my MAC pencil brush and that darker green shade that we used previously I'm just going to be connecting the inner corner and the outer corner taking that same pencil brush with that same shade you're just going to be smoking out the lower lash line taking the shade coal I'm just going to be applying that to the outer corners just to darken it up just a tiny little bit not too much because we want to keep this neutral but not neutral if you know what I'm saying and with the leftover color from that same brush you're just going to be smoking them lower lash line this may come as a surprise to most of the people that know me I'm actually not going to be doing a normal winged eyeliner I'm just going to keep it nice and neutral but because it's me I'm just going to have a little tiny little bit of a wing just on the end. And then as always I'm just going to be darkening my waterline. I cannot forget what that's called. I'm going to be darkening the waterline. While I'm completely out of focus, I'm going to be dusting off the excessive amount of face powder that I had on. And I do only see now that some of it just did not want to come off. I really do apologize about not being in focus. I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm just going to be taking some more of that Estee Lauder setting powder. And I'm just going to be dusting it all over my face just to get rid of the shine. Going in with my new highlighting shade that I do not know the name of. And as you can see, all the dust from that setting powder is just flying into my camera. So that's just great. But anyways, I'm just going to be highlighting the high points of my cheeks. Just to intensify that highlight a little bit more, I'm going to be going in with Shimmer Sand and then I'm just going to be applying that over top of that shade that we used before. Mm -hmm. 
To contour, I'm going to be taking my marker shade and here I am just showing you where you should be starting and where you should be finishing with your contour. And your contour should normally start by the top of the ear, coming down just a little bit past the arch of the brow. Here I'm just showing you the furthest point that you will go with your contour. So you're going to be taking the contour from that point downward into the temples just to deepen it a little bit more. Hello? As always I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes using my eyelash curler of course. And then I'm going to be applying my favorite mascara. And again for some reason I applied it like I never normally do something is going on and for the lips i'm just going to be lining them using a nude natural almost like a ready brown shade so i'm going to be lining them and filling them in as well with the same lip liner and then i'm going to be just applying a nude gloss over that and oh hello justin nice to see you walking past while i'm filming Going in with these very expensive eyelashes that I actually cannot remember where I got them from. But I am going to, as we speak, completely ruin them. Just look at what I do. Seriously. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you ruin your eyelashes. Now for the very first almost hair tutorial, you're just going to section your hair in small sections like this, break your extremely fragile hair by combing it out dangerously, and then yeah, you'll see the rest. Then just with your fingers you're going to section out a very small section, and the section that I'm holding is a section I am going to take my GHD iron and this is a bit more difficult for beginners to do so I'm going to go from the back and I'm going to just slightly curl that little piece of hair that I have and then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the front. As you can see I am curling the hair backwards if that's the right way of saying it. The only reason why I'm curling it like that is because in the real world, if you were to want to be a Victoria's Secret model, you want your hair to be below and back. So that's what I'm gonna just try and imitate, even though I could never be a Victoria's Secret model. I could try. I mean, look at me. As you can see with the front section, I am not going to be holding the iron in my hair as long as I did with the rest of the hair because I do not want this to curl as much. Normally, the longer you leave the iron in your hair, the tighter the curl, the, the less you leave the iron in your hair, the looser the curl.
after attempting to do the entire head of curls which i failed to do to just get a bit more volume you're just going to push up your hair like i am now i just got extremely frustrated with my hair because it was breaking and it really upset me so i stopped curling it and then i just carried on with life and that is the end of the video makeup tutorial product review and testing and hair tutorial attempt so if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you have any inspirations or any suggestions for videos please let me know in the comment section below and you're going to be looking forward to bloopers in three two one enjoy But there'll be no sound coming out of my mouth. And that's how you get matte lips. Good lip line. The boss will be there. I put a little bit of jersey or something. Like Take like a break, boy. I'm going to. Take like a break, boy. Put, put, put.